tuned for another interesting episode. Hey guys, this video is going to be about explaining what a Bitcoin wallet is. So, a lot of us use Bitcoin wallets and we don't even understand them really that well. So, let's use the analogy of an email to explain Bitcoin to you. And we'll relate it to using email. So with email, you get your email address. And this email address, you do not have to worry about keeping hidden. You give this email address to people that you would like to send you an email through. And you also send people emails through this address. So just like an email, your Bitcoin wallet address can be public. You can put it on your website, anywhere you want, just like an email address. So a Bitcoin public wallet address always starts with the number one. You can also, when sending to this wallet address or when other people are sending to this address, a lot of wallets um, or exchanges now we'll tell you when you type in this wallet address whether it uh, exists and whether it belongs to a valid Bitcoin wallet. And it shouldn't let you send to a non-valid address. Although you can type in the wrong address and send to somebody else, which people have done. So always double check that your address is correct. And usually you'll be copying and pasting this wallet address. Not very many people memorize them. So you can keep your Bitcoin wallet address um, public and you can have other people see it. This is not what you uh, keep private. But just like email, you will have a password so that only you can access and take money out of this wallet and only you can see the value that you have in this wallet. Now, when using a Bitcoin wallet, you also get a private key, which is separate from your password. Your private key is usually kept by exchanges. When you have your money in your wallet on a user-friendly exchange, usually don't have to deal with your private key but if you are exporting your bitcoins to a paper wallet or to an external hardware wallet you will be using this private key and you will be able to find that with these wallets and when you uh when you go through the process of exporting uh, or transferring bitcoins to an external wallet you will be given the private key but for now most people only need their Bitcoin public address and their password and your password can be anything but since you're storing value in here you should use a password that is long and that is a mixture of letters and numbers and preferably not words that you use so just a mixture of letters and numbers and symbols is usually a good solid Bitcoin password. So there are two types of wallets when we're talking about Bitcoin. There's a desktop wallet such as Exodus, Multibit or Bitcoin QT. And in the email analogy, these would be the equivalent to Microsoft Outlook, something you access from your desktop on your computer. 
Then there are online wallets or web wallets such as blockchain.info, Coinbase, Poloniex, or Bitfinex, as well as things like HitBTC. In the email analogy, these would be the equivalent of Gmail or Hotmail. So you have to go on a website, you have to be connected to the internet to access your wallet. And it's also more susceptible to online hacking and things like that. So the safer of the two is definitely the desktop wallet. All right, here's Poloniex. And this is an online Bitcoin wallet slash exchange. To go to your Bitcoin wallet, you'd go into deposits and withdrawals. And then you can see here is your Bitcoin. So to, to deposit, you would send this Bitcoin address or this QR code to the person or the wallet you're sending the Bitcoins from. So once they send the Bitcoins on their end, they will be received into this wallet and the balance will show up here. To withdraw and send from your wallet to another wallet, you would do the same thing. Type in that wallet address, the amount, a fee is going to come off. So you're always going to want to watch the fees. And uh, if you need to send a certain amount, add the fee on top of there um, so that you're sending the exact amount you need to send, in this case, 10 Bitcoins. So that is an online hard, that is an online wallet. And to use an offline wallet, I have Exodus here, and you would do about the same thing. Um, you have your Bitcoin address, you type in there, and to receive, you get your Bitcoin address and QR code there. And, um, you can export your private keys uh, through Exodus, which sometimes you need to uh, claim forked coins. But uh, do your research on that before you try to claim forked coins. If you're on um, online exchanges, a lot of those ones do it for you. So they will create the, the forked coin and uh, automatically deposit in the, into your account the amount that you're eligible for. Because when Bitcoin forks, which uh, happened a couple months ago with Bitcoin Cash and then recently with Bitcoin Gold. And then again, it's going to happen here in November with Bitcoin Segwit 2X. So when that happens, a snapshot's taken of the Bitcoin blockchain and everybody's balance of Bitcoin is matched with the forked coin as well. And you get, um, you get two coins instead of one out of it. So that's everything for today, guys. I'm Crypto Keith. This is Crypto Living. We'll see you on the next video.